This video, as well as many other videos, were brought to you by Jake the Star Child. At this point, he's like an official sponsor of the series because he keeps feeding me platinum so that I can keep making these videos instead of farming the bloody things I need for the video. So, thank you, Jake the Star Child. Everyone, round of applause for Jake. Today we're doing another one of the new Incarnons and it's gonna be the Sestra. This is a Master Rank 4 fully automatic secondary pistol that does primarily puncture damage with a bit of impact and no slash and it has decent status with terrible crit. Like the only thing this has going for it really is that it looks kind of cool. The blueprint for this is available from the market though you also get one by finishing the Jupiter to Europa Junction so you essentially get the weapon for free. So let's see if installing the Incarnon adapter which you can farm from the circuit into Viri does the weapon any good. Shall we? Alrighty then, the Sestra. This is going to be interesting. Upgrade. Hello. What does the Incarnon mode do here? Did I not turn it on? What? No, I am in Incarnon form. It's, it's the same. What? I am confused. Aha, so you just get a bunch of stats here. Yeah. Damage, crit, status, you get a lower fire. Okay, so it's the same, you just get juiced up stats. Interesting. I was expecting something a little bit saucier, not gonna lie, but I don't hate this. This is fine. Wow, I sound just like my ex-girlfriend. Anarchy is losing his mind that I don't have maxed out influence. I think it's rather pretty. There you go. That reminds me, I need to buy more rugs for the Orbiter. Most of my frames have the armor, so Fortress Salvo seems good for the extra multi-shot. Reload speed, maybe, and then Survivor's Edge, I'm not sure about this one because the base script multiplier is really low. Let's figure something out then. Diffusion for the multi-shot, I'm not sure about Crosshairs. I want to try it out, but I'm not sure if I want to aim down sights all the time with a weapon like this. But you know, let's give it a try, we can always take it out, and let's put on galvanized shot as well. I think we stick to good old corrosive and heat with prime heated charge, and use cascadia flare for our base damage. We also need another forma, so let's slap a dash right here. How much crit multi do we get with prime target cracker? 3.4? Uh, well, let's try it. What's up, my dudes? And do that. One dudette, apparently. Uh, th there can only be one, as it turns out. A singular dudette. 1v coming right up. We can run Prime Heated Charge again. Wait, 929? Isn't that exactly the same as the one before? I'm actually going to switch over to Slayer's Nerve for the accuracy and recoil reduction, because I barely ever reload, so the reload speed doesn't do much here. And we top it all off with a D. There we go, this should be the last forma. You know what, I think we just double down on crit with Prime Pistol Gambit. How much crit chance do we get? 68.9. We were so close to greatness. Damn. What about the Incarnate? 190. Yeah, that's worth it. Let us see what it do. Build up uh, the charge, build up flare, Incarnate mode activate. Holy shit, that's a lot of exclamation points. By the way, that indicates extra tiers of red grid. So if there is an exclamation point, it's a second tier red grid. If there are two, it's a third tier red grid. So we are critting like a son of a bitch here. That's a lot of damage, by the way. Holy shit, that is a lot of damage. That's ridiculous damage per shot for a bullet hole secondary. My god. Not gonna lie, I was a bit disappointed when I found out the incarnate mode doesn't really do anything special, like flashy. But I'm actually liking this. Having a more tame incarnate mode that just does big Scrum. damage is not bad. I like it. One thing that is bothering me a little bit is that the projectiles are somewhat slow. So if you want to go all the way, I would actually recommend investing into an Exilus and getting some projectile speed there. The damage is absolutely terrific though. Just red grits all year round. Love it. Also, I would like to point out that we don't have Harold with us and I have no Warframe buffs whatsoever. So this is just the weapon itself and we don't have any ammo issues, which is always good on a bullet hose secondary. And the damage is absolutely disgusting. We're hitting like north of 100k sometimes, which with a rapid fire secondary is just ridiculous. That's just dumb. Show yourself, misery. Where are you? Hi. I think... Oh, shit. Yep. Yep, that's exactly what I thought. That, that's what I thought. 
Bloody hell. Tremendous performance. Tremendous fun. Tremendous gun. Very good. I'm worried some people might overlook this because it doesn't have a saucy incarnate mode with flashy effects, which is a shame. This is definitely not the only build you can do on this. You could most certainly do other stuff as well, but... Like, who doesn't like big red crits? Come on now. I almost forgot to mention how much I love the way this weapon ramps up at the beginning of a mission because I hate weapons with bad ramp up. But the way this ramps up is super smooth. You get into a mission and when you're getting your first few headshots to stack up the Incarnon mode, you also stack up Flare. So by the time you get your first Incarnon ready, you already have Flare stacked up and you're doing essentially full damage. Most weapons, even if they have good ramp up, you usually need to get at least one kill. But here you don't. You just need to shoot stuff in the head. For, for a few seconds. Now, I know that might not sound like much, but if you have a really strong pet, like Harold, for example, right? A good hound, they will absolutely rip through steel path enemies. So they will steal your kills, which means not having to kill stuff is actually really beneficial. Yeah, I think we're done. I can't think of anything else I would want to do here. I like the build just the way it is. So let us do the thing. So, here's the final build for the Incarnon Sistra, and it's actually very straightforward. We have Galvanized Diffusion for Multi-Shot, Galvanized Crosshairs for Crit Chance, Galvanized Shot for Status Chance and Condition Overload, Prime Target Cracker for Crit Damage, Primed Pistol Gambit for even more Crit Chance, and we top it off with Primed Heated Charge for a ton of heat, as well as Pistol Pestilence and Jolt for Corrosive Damage and Status Chance. Our Arcane of Choice here is Cascadia Flare, which works really well with this setup, because by the time you stack your first Incarnon Charge, Cascadia Flare is already stacked up and you can do big damage. So there is virtually no ramp up on this setup, it's great. Now, if you're willing to invest more for mine into this to make the weapon feel a little bit better, I would recommend you get some projectile speed into the Exile slot. The projectiles on the Sestra are not the fastest. As I mentioned already, I think this is one of the weapons that people will overlook because it doesn't have a flashy incarnate mode, which is a shame because the incarnate mode is a lot of fun to play around with and it's really strong. So even though it might not look flashy, I would absolutely recommend you give this a shot. But I would also recommend you play around with different setups, because this is absolutely not the only way to build a weapon. I like big red crits, so I built it for big red crits, but there's other stuff you can do with it as well. And that is pretty much all I wanted to say, so I thank you very much for watching, as always guys, and I hope you've enjoyed the video. Then I would also like to extend a special thank you to all the channel members, thank you very much guys, I really appreciate your support, it means a lot to me. And I will see you next time. Bye-bye.